Oh, you right here, ready. What's up, YouTube? Uh, once again, I'm back. I um, I just did a review uh, unboxing on the SFB8000 from Sundown. This basically the full bridge amplifier. Um, I did tell you guys I had a couple of 18s coming in by Wolfram, the new platinum platinum series they have out 4000 RMS. So, um, I have two, but I'm going to open up just this one after I already kind of opened it. But um, I want to give you all a good uh, a preview, a glimpse of what they are in person. Like I said, I haven't seen anyone on YouTube with these particular models. I see the AU and the, and the Silver, whatever you want to call it, AG and the AU series, um, uh, Wolfram 18s. But, but yeah, let me uh, get busy with opening these. I'm <clears throat> sorry, I already opened the box. So it came pretty good. Um, it, did, it wasn't didn't have a dual boxing. It only has the single box, but they come with the thick foam surround packaging. Um, standard a lot of the subs do have. Um, I did notice that the box is it, they're not as heavy as I thought they would be for a 4,000 watt uh, subwoofer, um, but it's okay I guess. About the same weight as an X. Uh, XV218 Sundown 18 gonna be about the same weight. All right, so looking inside, if you look carbon fiber, pretty good. Looks nice. I've already took the plastic wrap off of it, but um, pretty stiff um, dust cap. It's not too bad. Um, I noticed that the, uh, the cone itself, you know, it's not as stiff as I probably would want my sub to be up. To be a little bit stiffer, the surround is about, about as normal as a um, normal 18. Doesn't have the dual stitching like I usually like, but um, doesn't have to have that. Um, I still think it's a pretty nice looking sub itself. Um, surround, like I said, it's 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 pretty beefy, uh, but not as high as the like I said, ZV5 or XV218. They're, you know, those are have real high surround. Um, there's no, on the gasket here, there's no, I don't see any logo or the Wolfram name on the gasket itself. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much standard. Let's see, uh, these look like I might, look like I might have to drill my own holes. In here, yeah, it looks like they, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put my own holes in here. All right, let's go ahead and start removing this from the box. And, uh, I'll set this down. This probably shouldn't be good sitting on nobody on your table. But I'm just gonna do this for quick purposes. I don't probably could have did it on the floor, but anyway. Actually, let me uh, grab that right there. Let's see that right here. The motor right here. Oh. The motor right here. I'm gonna scratch the table up. So. So. Visualizing now that I take it, have taken it out, I noticed that uh, it has a nice beefy, yeah, has a nice beefy uh, four-inch voice coil. They use really nice thick black glue. What's pretty cool is they use triple tri triple tinsel leads, sewn-in tinsel leads. There's three of them in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, push terminals. Standard look like they uh, mm, may fit four gauge in there. At least eight, I know I can tell. At least eight is good. Um, both sides, pretty good. Yeah, like the basket. Uh, the frame, pretty good. It's uh, a lot of your uh, other companies they use this frame, which is pretty much standard for a nice big 18. A lot of ventilation. As you can see, um, if you look closely, it's a nice coil. Black, black, uh, black wood. Yeah, it's really nice. 
Uh, spider, pretty cool. Uh, it might be a triple, tri quadruple stack spider with a 10, 8, 10, 10 to 11 inch spider. Um, let's see. With this motor, it's a triple stack. I don't know, there might be three quarter, one inch slugs, three one inch slugs. Nice uh, chrome pole venting, nice venting through the back. Also has the uh, extra venting here. If you look, pretty nice size magnet. But if I look at it, to me, it's about the size of a, a little bit bigger than the XV218 from Sundown. It's a little bit, I think it's just a little bit bigger. But not as much. Like I said, it weighs about, I feel like it weighs about between 60 and 70 pounds. Uh, something of this size nature, how much power, they usually run between 80 to 100 pounds. That's what, you know, from my experience of dealing with, you know, subwoofers, anything that can handle that much power is usually almost 100 pounds. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like I said, that's a cover, pretty stiff dust cap. The standard paper paper cone. It doesn't have the pulp, uh, like little pulpy feeling on the bottom of the cone. I'm gonna come right here. I'm looking here. It doesn't have the real bumpy paper cone like some of them do. It's a little bit. If you look here. Uh, but yeah, kind of a smooth feeling. But yeah, but not very stiff. Um, I like mine to be a little bit stiffer, like I said earlier. But um. But anyway, this is the Wolfram Platinum 18. This is what, what they look like. Doesn't come with the uh, uh, cover or protecting over the uh, of the uh, ferret or the ferret magnet part of it. Um, these are dual one ohm. I have dual. These are dual one ohm. Uh, they come on dual one and dual two, if I'm not mistaken. Because um, I'm doing a series parallel. I'm wired down to. Final one ohm, um, one ohm load, but um, but yeah, pretty cool. I don't know if that's a sticker or not, or is actually made into the. Uh, or it look, it look like it might be a sticker. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I like this uh, color, this uh, spider too. The little red with the yeah. But yeah, I just finished finishing up the box. I'm doing a wall build. Like I said, stated in the earlier videos, um, I can't wait to hear what these sound like. Um, they don't really have the box dimensions for this yet. They don't really give you the specs on the port size or the port um, tuning on it. So I'm, I'm I did my box around 32, 33 hertz around here, about six and a half cubes for each sub. Um, yeah, so. We'll see how you know see how that go um might have to go a little bit smaller on the box i don't know i'm gonna have to build another one but for right now that's what i'm gonna do and see how that works um tune in to um a couple more videos i got i just bought a lot of six i bought some scar six and a half scar tweeters for the for for mids and highs and stuff i got um another uh four, couple of four channel amplifiers from scar i got a you know, um, they do pretty good on the, uh, for the mids and highs and stuff, so, and the amps and stuff, so, yeah, this, I guess you can say this is kind of a budget build in a way, and, um, once again, that's the SFB8000 over there in the corner, kind of just got a lit lopsided against the wall like that, <laughs> um, but that's gonna run both of these, I'm kind of running these here, so, uh, thank you for tuning in, um, Go ahead and, you know, like if you like it or if you don't, you know, like I said, this is my first time. I don't really do a lot of these type of, um, I haven't done a lot of these uh, type of uh, unboxing or reviews when it comes to stereo stuff. Um, but uh, stay tuned for more, of you know, more videos. So subscribe or like, like I said, and uh, leave me a comment or if you have any input, if you've heard any of this stuff before, let me know. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, you guys take care. Peace.